Troubleshooting the Liberty HD 100 safe. Stand by. Hey everybody, welcome back to Round Can Fab Shop. I'm James. Uh, we have an issue. Uh, I have a small Liberty HD 100 gun safe. Uh, you can use these for all kinds of stuff, not just guns. Uh, you can use it to, uh, I know people who put their keys in them, so that way if someone breaks into their house, they don't suddenly have access to all the keys to the kingdom. Uh, I know people who store medication in them. I know people who store normal, you know, uh, type of stuff that you would put in a safe. And uh, also uh, to keep your pew pews away from the little ones and people who aren't uh, authorized to have them. So the problem that we are having here is that uh, ours was sticking in the open or it, it just wouldn't latch. We would you would put the you would put the lid down, and the lid would the mating surfaces here on this seam would match up, but my latch wasn't doing the latch thing, and that was um, it doesn't uh, doesn't do you a lot of good if you're if you're safe uh, doesn't keep stuff safe. So you don't need a lot of stuff to uh, to do this troubleshooting. Uh, you need a you need a, a digital multimeter because we're going to take a reading on the 9 volt to make sure our 9 volt battery is good. You need a small Phillips head screwdriver. This is a number one. Um, I use a cotton swab. I use a cloth rag. I use some sort of a cleaner water dispersant. This is not a lubricant. And then I use some sort of a lubricant. Use the lubricant of your choice. I'm not suggesting one. This is just what I have on hand. The first thing that I did is I pulled this little piece of foam out of the bottom. Be careful, there is a ribbon connector that is running from uh, the lock mechanism up to the top to your keypad entry here. So don't tear that up. So now that I've got that pad out of here, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the battery compartment cover off. And we're going to pull our battery out and we're going to make sure that we have the appropriate voltage running through our battery. You go to DC on your multimeter and then you're gonna check and you make sure you put the black lead to the negative terminal, you put the red lead to the positive terminal and hours reads 9.29 volts. That's well within spec, so that's what we're gonna run. So we know that's not the issue. So there are three screws in here that you can pull off to get access easier access to this mechanism. There's one over here on the left hand side, there's one on the right hand side, and then there's one in the battery compartment itself. Now this is a this is a press fit, so you're going to kind of wiggle it up and there's a tab right there um, that's going to hold some stuff in there. So you just kind of carefully move this out of the way now, here's going to be the tricky part. Let's see if I can do the zoomy zoom and get us into where we need to see. Let's get it as right in camera as we can. We'll fix it in post, as we say. So the issue that I am having, or at least in our case that we were having, is this pin here was sticking. Uh, when it was engaged by the cam here, um, you'll hear that little whirring noise when you put the correct code in. That is this, this cammed wheel, uh, and it's on the eccentric, so it will move that pin over uh, to get you into, uh, to open it and allow this to, to open up. Ours wasn't doing that. So, what, first thing that I did is I used, um, I used my cleaner and I sprayed it down in here, and I sprayed it down in here, and I sprayed it down in here. <clears throat> and then the thing suddenly loosened up uh, and we were able to work this. So I cleaned it. This is when it's in the closed position. And what was happening is that pin was stuck over and would not allow this catch to, well, you know, catch. 
Did you see that? Our pin was not sliding back and forth like that. So we cleaned that up and then what I did, and what I'll do is I will tuck, I will tuck a cloth in here because I don't want to be spraying that stuff all over the place. Tuck this cloth in here and then use your choice of lubricant um, and lubricate this side of the pin, the middle of the pin, and this side of the pin as well. Might as well go ahead, lubricate everything that's in here, wipe up any excess that you have, and since you're here doing stuff, you might as well zoom out. You might as well lubricate these two hinge points as well as this piston here. Um, don't put a lot on it, don't make it soupy. Um, that's, that's really all you need to do. Once you've got your stuff cleaned up, then you can, again, being careful of this ribbon connector, you can slide the cover back on. You can put your three screws back in. The screws are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Reinsert your battery. Put your battery cover back on. Put your protective pad back in. Mind the holes. The foam has holes in it uh, as well as the case. So if you've got this mounted, say, on a um, on the back of a piece of furniture, on a bed rail, on a bed, on a headboard on a bed, somewhere where you have it vertically mounted. Um, make sure that um, your holes line up on there. And then you just work the snot out of it for a while. And it pops right open. If you put the wrong coat in, it does that. And you fixed it. It's not super. It's not super difficult. Anybody can do it. You don't need a lot of. Uh, you don't need any kind of crazy tools. Just a tiny screwdriver. Um, you know, you can you can even go in and clean it with just a cotton swab if that's what you want to do. You can apply your lubricant to the cotton swab, and then put it down in the areas and kind of squeeze it out a little bit. Super easy. Anybody can do it. It'll get your safe back in running condition. I'm James, this is Rattle Can Fab Shop. You guys have a great weekend. Cheers. I hope you found this episode educational or entertaining or maybe even both. You might want to check this one out as well. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified when new videos drop, and if you've got comments, make sure you put them down beneath the sermon notes. Thanks for hanging out with us here at the Rattle Can Fab Shop. Y'all have a good one. Cheers.